Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture today, we are going to talk about resetting the password. So in any authentication system, there is two conditions that we need to take care of. And there is two ways that user is going to change their password. So one is if they forget their password. So in that case, user won't be logged into our application and he is going to request for the reset password link from the login screen. And from there we will, we can send him a reset link and he can log into his email account and he, and he can reset the password from the web. Okay. And the another condition is that user is logged into our application and from there he simply wants to reset his password. Okay. So in this lecture, we will go ahead and simply let the user reset the password when he is logged into his account. Okay. So this feature is uh, usually available in the profile section of uh, our application, but we don't have that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one menu and there we'll let the, with there we will have one option to set the new password. And when, whenever user click on that, we will open the new activity and there user can simply reset his password. Okay. So for that, he don't need to. Uh, for that, we will not send any uh, reset email or something like that because user is already logged in and authenticated. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up my Android Studio and in the main, main activity and let me open the layout file here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a menu here in the toolbar and that three dot and when whenever user click on that three dot there we will add the one option that is uh, set new password or reset new password and from there user can uh, change his password okay so let's go ahead and add a option menu in our application so to do that i'm going to go here right click here and create new android resource file and from here i'm going to uh, select menu and i'm going to give name as option menu okay click on okay and now it's going to create the option menu for us and here i'm going to simply drag and drop one menu item and give the title as reset password okay and it's going to have the id of reset user password and now i'm gonna go ahead and run this application and show you guys how it's going to look like the application is running but the menu is not displayed here that is because we need to set that first okay so let's go to the uh, main activity here and just after this we are going to create an option menu so on create option menu okay what we're gonna do is we're going to create a menu inflator first I'm gonna call this inflator and call the method name as get menu inflator okay so uh, first I need to remove that from here and paste it here so inflator dot inflate and here now we need to find the menu resource that is option menu so r dot menu dot the option menu and now here we need to pass the menu that we have here okay so now if I run this application we should be able to see the options menu in our app now yes we can see and if we click on that it displays the reset password option but if we click on that it's it uh, nothing is happening right so we need to handle that that as well so let's go here and override the on of options item selected we can use if else condition or switch so we have only one item right now so i'm gonna use if item dot get item id is equals to r dot id dot reset password then we are going to let uh, we are going to start the reset reset password activity okay so currently we don't have that reset password activity here so let's go ahead and uh, set that but uh, we are getting some error that is because of this um, return statement here so let me just paste it here okay now inside this we will start the new activity new intent and from this activity we will send a user to the uh, reset password activity that we don't have right now so let's go ahead and create new activity here and that is gonna be an empty activity 
reset password okay and click on finish now we have this reset password activity we need to design that uh, field here we'll do that in a second but before that let's go here and add that reset password activity now whenever user click on that uh, option menu he is going to be redirected to the reset password dot uh, reset password activity that that is what we exactly want here so let's run this and see that in action okay click on reset password and we are at the reset password okay so now in the reset password what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add one plain text field here or maybe i'll add password field okay so that user can enter the new password here so we will not ask for old password because user is is already authenticated so let's make it mass constraint and here i'm gonna give the hint as enter new password and we'll also ask user to confirm that password but before that let me set the id new user password is the id for this and let me add one more here just to confirm the password and set the constraint on the all other sites make it match constraint give the hint confirm new password and it's going to have the id of new confirm pass okay now we'll add one button here to save the settings okay so reset password button is the id here and now we can go to this reset password.java file and extract the data validate the data and reset the password okay so first things first let me create the edit text variables that we need so user password and you user confirm password okay user password equals to find view id r dot id dot new user password and similarly for the confirmation password we can use the user confirm password find me by id added id and new confirm password okay now we can extract the data and validate the data when user click on uh, save here okay so let's go ahead and implement this button so we have the id as reset password button so let me create one variable for that as well save password button is the variable name that i wanted to give and now i can use save password button equals to find viva id order id dot reset password button okay so that is the id of our uh, button here okay so now let's handle the click on that button okay so i'll just let me refactor this so let me click on refactor rename and make it password okay now let's set on click listener new on click listener now i'm going to use if else condition just like how we did in login activity so here i'm going to get the data so say password or let's uh, get that user password dot get text dot to string dot is empty we're gonna check and we're gonna use user password dot set error required field okay and if user confirm password get text dot to string dot is empty if the user confirm password is empty then we are also going to display the error so set error required field is a message and let's return the control like that and i also want to check if the uh, user password is uh, equal to the confirm password or not so user password 
dot get text dot to string dot is equal to user confirm password dot get text dot to string okay if the condition is not true then we will display the error message password do not match okay and return the control and now if control gets here that means everything is all right it has uh, passed the validation uh, process so we can reset the password of the user so to reset the password of the user obviously we are going to need the uh, firebase user or firebase authentication class okay so i'm going to create firebase user okay and let me call it firebase user and from the Firebase auth class, we can get instance and get current user. Okay, something like that. Or what we can do is, let me just create that variable here and initialize the variable here like that. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can use this user uh, instance of this Firebase user to uh, reset the password. Okay, so here user dot update password and now I can pass the user password that has been passed through the form to a string okay and I'm gonna add success listener new on success listener and if the operation is successful we're gonna display the message to the user that password updated okay and we will send the user back to the uh, main activity so we can start the new activity new intent from this activity to main activity so let me get the correct one main activity class and just finish this okay and you can also add failure listener here just in case if the password is uh, password updation process is failed so let let's go ahead and add that new on failure listener and here we'll just toast the error message that we get from the exception okay so that way you'll have the pretty much good idea of what happened what happened if the password is not updated okay so this is how we update the password let's go ahead and run this application and see in action so i'm gonna run this in my emulator Okay, our app is running now and you can see we are at the dashboard. So let's go ahead and update the password. Click on reset password. Now I'm gonna change the password from 234567. Okay, let's add 234567. And if you remember our original password is 123456. So I'm gonna click on save. Okay. And it says the person is sensitive. I require recent authentication okay so it is asking me to re-authenticate again it is not letting me to directly uh, save this password okay so in that case uh, we will just uh, log out from this app so let me close this application you can also separately handle this re-authentication but we will learn about that in upcoming lessons but for now let's go here and uh, open this app log out from here and i'm gonna use the uh, email that i have been using one two three four five six and let's log in okay now we are inside the app now let's go here and reset the password two three four five six seven okay three four five six seven okay now let's click on save and it should work okay it says the password is updated now let's go ahead and confirm if the password is updated or not so come here enter your email and the old password is one two three four five six right so i'm going to try and log in and it says password is invalid so let me try the new password that is two three four five six seven and now it should work yes as you can see we have successfully reset the password of the logged in user so guys, that, that's how we reset the password. Now in the next video, 
in the next lesson we will go ahead and learn about how to send reset email if the user forget the password okay so i'll see you there